<laughs> so with the uh, you know with being around Hollywood and uh, for years, um, you must have known a lot of people who all the people that died died. You know that song. Yeah. Carol, is that the, the that song? Jim Carroll. Jim Carroll. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know the song, nor did I know that many people who, who died. I oh, mean, wow, not that's in show great. business. I mean, oh. I know. Yeah, who do I know who died? We know tons of people. No, we know real addicts who died, but are they the famous? Right. Oh, famous? Yeah. No, we know a lot of people who died. Yeah. You guys. Well, let's talk about them. Died. I mean, you know. We just know a lot of people who, who, who. I mean, we just. I mean, we can talk about. I mean, occasionally it will drift into our like. Well, here, here's a, here's a thing. We were thinking of to hand out at the thing, getting spoons that said a thousand junkies on them, right? Like we thought that was funny as a thing, you know, they said on the spoon. And then we were like, that's a little too cavalier about this shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we don't yeah. want to be ridiculous about it and think it's funny, because we have a lot of... How many people died out of the meeting we go to? A lot. Like, probably a lot. ten. I was I mean, just saying last night, you know, when me and Ellen got married at the courthouse and we needed a witness... And the witness, the only person that saw us got right? married, yeah, died about a year ago. Um, yeah. Um, Costco? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, going to Costco. Yeah. That was yeah. Rip. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people died. Yeah. 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 yeah, like fentanyl um, keeps yeah. uh, killing people yes. off. They um, cut it with fentanyl. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't even know. I mean, this uh, this whole thing that's going on now is... It's uh, so different than when you were getting high. Yeah, I mean, I just... I mean, I, if you're gonna, if you're going to uh, have a doctor give you, I mean, the idea that there's just this, you know, this entry into this world, you know, what I mean, that you can just all over rural Kentucky, people are shooting black tar heroin, dying by the truckload, is kind of astounding in a way. Not, you know, it doesn't. That's not what we were, you know. We were, Bunch of people in Van Nuys, California. I mean, California, New York, these urban centers. It was just a little, it's just a weird thing. So, I don't know. I don't know how people are going to respond. I mean, we, we do. We're not worried. We we feel like we're not worried that we can laugh at this a little bit or have some ridiculous, absurdist take on it because we live through it. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't want to be a clean guy who made this movie who's never shot. <laughs> that would be a novice. Oh, that's funny. Uh, you so know, yeah, you were options. like method actors, but only like the method Methadone. was long ago. Methadone, Methadone actors. Oh, that's and he so funny. That. And he turned that. He's gonna write a book like uh, Stanislavski. Yeah. <laughs> Methadone acting. I love that. That's so, funny. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because at the Tribeca Film Festival, there's also um, warning this drug may kill you, and it's about people being prescribed right. Vicodin, Percocet right. for dentists. That that happened to me. I relapsed because oh, wow. that's a I that's got an AA standard. standard. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's a that's a down the line. And that movie, yeah, is a documentary, and I'm going to be interviewing this woman who, um, her son died at 22 yeah, of heroin, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so she started this um, nonprofit uh, to help people with the grief of it all, right. and it's like remarkable that anybody can A, survive losing their right, kid, like that young, to a heroin overdose, and then to help people. I guess it's a lot like AA, I'd be fascinated though. to... See if our movie really appalled her or gave her some. Oh. So I would be interested to, you know what I mean? Because I wonder where where that is. Because I don't have that. I can't imagine the grief for that either, man. Especially with a kid, you know what I mean? So I wonder if, our because I know I, I I don't know if it was that woman, but I heard some woman in that situation interviewed going, I feel horrible. And her take was, I feel horrible that I didn't understand what he was going through. That was her whole take, like that she didn't get what it was. And what, you know what I mean? And she felt bad about how, you know what I mean? She wasn't sort of angry, so I, I'm, inter I'm interested. I mean, I could see someone really being really offended by our movie in that situation, or the opposite. Well, I guess with me, with my husband relapsing um, on heroin and nearly dying right. over and over, and I took him to seven rehabs and detoxes, and he kept sneaking out <clears throat> and shooting up again. Right. And uh, but I was laughing at your movie. It. Right. Yeah. Well, right. Well, well, you're an addict, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So I get and it. Is your husband not your kid? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but you know it helps yeah. to be an addict. Yeah. But it's yes. so hard to find anybody who's not. Touched by dealt it with addiction yeah. who can grasp 
what an addict is going through and why they, they do the things they do. I mean, it's extremely rare to find somebody that, you know, can understand that and sympathize, empathize, whatever the word would yeah. be. You know, it's difficult. So I have to ask you a story about your tattoos. Do you have any, like, well, I got this one when I was this high, or...? Well, uh, I had my girlfriend who passed away. I have her name tattooed on that finger. That's her first and last name. Um... Come on, show my favorites. All all of them. Come on. I'm liking this one right now. Wait, you uh, win some, lose some, it's all the same to me. That's a good... A motorhead quote. A junkie who cares. This is definitely an ode to the life that I used to live. The... Needle in the bull's eye. I got that in the life. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm covered. I've got my chest and my Give stomach. Give the other one, the one we love. The Which one? one? Oh, it'll all be over soon. That's the so one. So I came up, so everybody always thinks that this is like a short suicide note, like a very dark message. And it's not, when I went to treatment in 08, when my girlfriend passed away, I'm sitting in rehab and she had just died and I'm still detoxing and, you know, I I have nothing to my name except for a trash bag full of clothes and here I am in rehab again and just so depressed and fucked up mentally. And I was sitting there thinking, you know, like, how has it come to this? How am I going to get out of this? This is so awful. And I was like, you know what? It'll all be over soon. It's going to be okay. Nothing lasts forever. This shitty time will pass and things will get better. And I was like, you know what, I wanna, it's, this is my way of saying this too shall pass. I, I just think that's, that's too much of a soft way to put yeah, it. Yeah. So it'll all be over soon is what I got there. <laughs> when you kept saying show, show her the other one, I thought you meant like, you know, one on your ass or something. <laughs> no, 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 my ass is untied. Right oh, that's good, that's it'll good. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're not big, I mean, that's funny, I'm out of my favorite, and I'm glad I got a laugh from someone in a meeting at the movie was when, uh, I said to him, you're going to go to me? He goes, I'm going to go to me. I go, you're going to go to me? He goes, you're going to get a sponsor? I'm not going to get a sponsor. Right. And that is, that is <laughs> yeah, our that. take on AA collectively, <laughs> if ever there was one. It's like, yeah, we, we go, but we don't like go. <laughs> well, if it, but if it wasn't for AA, yeah, we all of know us. each other. And all of us wouldn't be clean. I, mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't think. No. Yeah. No. I know. I, I've railed about the, uh, the God thing. Somebody came, I met somebody in a New York meeting who came from California. He was just visiting. And he said, only in New York do you say the God thing. Everybody else just says God. Mm-hmm. But you say the God thing. Yeah, so, right. yeah, I thought that was funny. <clears throat> L.A. is a heavy-duty recovery place. I mean, New York is too, but L.A. is like, people come to L.A. and they get very kind of blown away by how much 12-step. It's serious in that yeah. town. There's right? a lot of 12-step here. Every fellowship. Yeah, here too, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huge. But in L.A. is a big 12-step town. Not a big harm reduction place. Like, New York has some harm. You know, like, people live on methadone in New York, and it's accepted. Like, that's a decent... No, but people, junkies, do get jobs and sort of go and live. I mean, it's but, I mean, dumb. other people in AA don't accept it in right, New York. Right. They right. Uh, they <laughs> really don't. And I think that needs to change, Right, because when I was on methadone, going to AA every day, I got a lot of shit. Yeah, you were judged. Yeah, I was judged, but it didn't matter, man. You know what I mean? I, I kept going, I kept going. And the people who I really cared about, like, I really had a lot of support. I never would have been able to do it. Because when you have to get off that last five, it's brutal, man. And uh, I had the a lot of... The last five? Milligrams. Oh, 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 oh. And I had a lot of support, you know, from people. And I went to Brahm, and I just, uh, you know, I just was used to going to AA and, like, doing doing that that thing that I'd never been willing to do. And even you and TJ, TJ doesn't go to a lot of meetings anymore. But he, uh, you went, man, thousands. <laughs> Did you ever have a problem with the God thing? Uh, <laughs> not in AA. I mean, I, I, I'm an atheist, but I, it never bothered me that people believed in God. It was always for me. AA was. You don't want to shoot drugs anymore. The people who used to shoot drugs and now don't anymore, they're literally on the street corner in a big circle smoking cigarettes. And you can go up to them and they'll hug you and say, like, I'll help you get to where I am. So that's all it was for me. When some, uh, if I'm not using drugs and I'm in a meeting and someone's talking about God, um, it doesn't bother me, and me and my friend are <laughs> laughing at him, and I'm sure, and then he's laughing at me if I'm I'm talking. It doesn't. It's like we're just 
not using right now. That's what it was.